welcome back to our Sansa Nature channel. Today from a beautiful island Crete in Greece. In today's episode I want to go more into the reopening of tourism and travel, especially with the current partial opening of Europe to travelers. For the steady vaccination in all European countries, restrictions are eased and more travels are possible. But what and how should we do things as travel operators, business owners and travelers in these times? With quite strict social distancing rules and regulations, such as wearing a mask, temperature checks, distancing between people and the amount of people in certain areas to given times, things should be quite straightforward. Till this happened beginning June. Each country, of course, got their own idea on how to control the spread and contain more infections. To the trouble comes that these regulations are often changed overnight because of eventually new insights, new virus variants or just the adoptions to new situations. These can be very confusing for travelers but also for hospitality and tourism operators. Thanks to our clients in multiple countries around the globe, our own experience as business owners and the proven records of things which are working well to avoid contamination in various businesses, we want to give you our knowledge to you to ensure your business, your staff and your clients are staying safe. The most important thing to do as a business owner or manager is to understand and acknowledge the situation. After this, you will need to bring this understanding and knowledge to your staff. Make sure you train and inform your staff about the current situation in your country, your region and of course in your business. Communication is the key. Make sure that your staff understands that you're serious about the new implemented actions so you ensure your staff and your clients safety. The point here is, no matter if your Uncle Ben, your Facebook friend or even yourself do not believe in the virus or not. The scientists, governments and billions of people do. And we also have seen the devastating results of it. So, in the moment you get your business more corona safe, your clients and your staff will automatically feel safer in that improved environment. So, what can we do? Let's start with the accommodation providers. No matter if you run a five-star hotel, a small guest house or a hostel, you can actively promote a safer environment to all your guests and staff with easy to implement actions. Again, maybe not everyone in your management, staff or even your customers will agree with these new implemented strategies, but they are implemented to improve the safety of all the people in your business and surrounding. So I want to start with quite an obvious point, which is much overlooked as an accommodation provider. This will sound hard for a lot of hotels and guest houses, but it's a huge advantage for you. The first point is, limit the guest numbers. Let me explain why. The conscious traveler will make smarter choices when traveling. People don't want to get sick in the holidays after they finally can travel again after one year in a lockdown. They mostly also cannot afford to miss work after their travels. So, by limiting the guest numbers, you can actively advertise that your accommodation is looking after the well-being of their guests, instead of profit-driven packing the guests under the roof. The guests will be happy to see we have some space and safety around the pool, the public areas of your hotel, and not seeing hundreds of people fighting over the daily breakfast buffet. Make a calculation of your room nights and block them if they go over 60 or 70% occupancy. For this premium peace of mind, you also can charge a bit more for you from your guests. The next point is the first arrival experience, the check-in. Make sure the check-in area and the lobby are not crammed with people. And if it's a bit busy, make sure your clients have separated little waiting areas before processing the check-in. The lobby is usually one of the busiest places of your hotel with guests and staff interacting. So ensure your housekeeping team is on a regular basis there to disinfect high contact areas such as doorknobs, the desks, tables and seating areas. Also, let your staff wear appropriate PPE. Get a reusable mask like this one made for your staff with your logo on and you even can offer them to your hotel guests for free or for small charge creating free advertising of your hotel. 
Ensure you have free available disinfectant dispensers throughout your hotel and not just in one spot so people don't need to queue up to use them. Check with temperatures of the guests which enter your hotel and mark all the names and contact details. So in case of an infection, the contact tracing will be easier for the medical teams to find our infected people. Try to implement new contactless check-in methods like touchscreen devices and contactless pay options. The next area in your hotel will be the rooms. To avoid cross infections between guests and your staff, ensure you deep clean and disinfect all areas of the room, especially after your guests check out. Best would be to air the rooms as long as possible and leave at least the rooms empty for one day before the new check-in. For the hotel bar and restaurant services, ensure all your staff in the kitchen and service staff have adequate PPE and follow, of course, strict the food handling and the health and safety regulations. These are the most simple to implement protection advices from us for your accommodation business. There is, of course, much more to get into it and I will post the link in the description below the video for a more detailed list to get your business more Corona safe. Now, let's check the next point. The f &B outlets such as restaurants, bars and cafes. Here the same rules apply as in the accommodation places. Most importantly is to reduce the amount of people in your venue, which means to reduce the lineup on the counter and also the distance of guests sitting on the tables. In current times a lot of people transform their job to remote working and they use the local cafes as their private office. This is a good opportunity to ask your people not to occupy the seat all day for coffee and a small piece of cake. Thanks to the corona restrictions, you are able to ask your people to leave after a certain time because you have other customers which also want to be guests in your cafe. In a busy cafe or venue, it is also very important to ensure all surfaces, especially high contact areas, are routinely cleaned and disinfected, such as the counters, tabletops and seating areas after your guests leave. If you have a lot of takeout and delivery orders, try to move that service to a less busy area of your venue, so you reduce the possible contact of in-house guests with the delivery drivers or people which just quickly come and pick up your orders. Ensure your staff wears all the necessary PPE at all times and also that hygiene standards and food and handling regulations are met and complied with at all times in the kitchen. For the last point, I want to talk about the shops and our businesses. Here the same points apply as the previous mentioned ones. Ensure you don't get too many people into your shop at the same time. Make sure everyone is wearing the masks and people hold the minimum distancing inside your shop and clean and disinfect high contact surface areas on a regular basis. Each business in each country got of course their own rules and regulations by the government set, which should be followed at all times. But these vary in a lot of countries and with tourist destinations. So ensure your guests are aware of the local rules of COVID-19 protection and let them know what actions you're taking to ensure your guests have a comfortable and a safe stay with you. Now, on a more personal note, I would like to also advise the travelers. Please stay a bit more in your closer region, closer to your home. With the opening of the borders and flights, thousands of people start quickly traveling again, without the proper knowledge about the areas where you travel to. It only takes a few cases and a super spread event, and all the newly gained travel freedom will be blocked again. Scientists hope for worldwide herd immunity with COVID-19, but with the current vaccination numbers, we are still far off from this to happen. More infections will also create more mutations, which will be eventually harder to control if the vaccinations are inefficient with these new mutations. If you want to get over this quickly, we need a higher vaccination rate and less new infections in the coming months. So by enjoying the holiday more in your regional backyard, you're not just lowering the risk of getting corona and get more mutations spread it around, but you're also close to home in case travel restrictions are changing from one day to another and you support the local community to recover from the long closure of businesses in your area. So travel locally, stay safe and enjoy the good time you have. This was from us today with a new episode from Greed 
in beautiful Greece. I hope you learned something. I hope you can take something away. And in our next episode, we will get more into the role of travelers in sustainable tourism and ways to become a responsible and mindful tourist. Thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. And please stay safe. Till the next time, you're Norman from Sunshine Nature.